Now we are going to discuss why we should move to S4 HANA. So this is one of the many transaction code that S4 HANA has provided that will make your life easier. Compared to ECC, it would be much better to work in S4 HANA. So if I go to this transaction GLL03H, okay, this is a new transaction code, the GL line item browser that has been introduced in SAP S4 HANA. So I will show you how it, it is wonderful to use this particular transaction code. Okay, first you have all these features, okay, open and then you can say, oh, in F, FS10N and other places you have the same thing. Now, if I, if we scroll down, if I see here, now here I will just put the company code, okay, and if I scroll down here, here you can see there is this thing called edit selection screen, okay. Before here we could edit, now it's different. Here if I select edit selection screen and I click on field selection, here you can do all these selections very easy. So suppose I want to select, suppose posting date, okay. So I want to get posting date. So instead of getting it in the layout, okay, and then changing it. So here you can see I can get the posting date. And the greatest thing is, if you are a technical guy, you probably know the, the, the field name, you can search by that. If you are a functional person, you can do it by that. So I just select this, see, suppose I select this and I go here, okay, and I click on the green app. After I do this, if you see, the posting date is there. Here, you can save this, okay. I click on save and I will say Z test, test. And here I can make this as my default. The moment I save it, I hope. So the changes have been saved. Now, suppose I go back and I get again can come here. Okay. If you notice all these selection screen parameter, not the parameters, the selection screen fields will be stored. Okay. So once it shows up, we'll see. Okay, now we can see it's there, here you can see this. Another beautiful thing is here, most of the people who runs a report and all those things, they download it, okay? So that's the greatest thing you can do here also. Download first the result into a file. So you select this, here you can select it in our presentation server. So you don't have to execute and do all those things beforehand okay so let me run it and i'll show you how it looks okay and i'll just execute okay it says specify a file name here so i'll just uncheck this and i execute okay this i am doing for all so it may take some time okay uh, so once it shows up so here you can see all these data is there okay now if you want I can do some selection criteria based on that GL. So suppose I want to see only this GL. 11001010. Okay. So I go here. I'll say yes here. And here in the GL account. Okay. I can put 11001010. Okay. And then I'll just execute. And I should be getting much less. So once I get that, then I will show what you can do inside the layout also. So once this report shows up, it will do. And again, based on the internet speed, lots of time you might say, oh, the system is slow. It's not the system slow. It's lots depends on your internet speed. Okay, how the SAP is working. Okay, so that's why it's easier to work from an office because they have the high speed internet. So here you can see this and here if you want, you can click on this. Let me go and select on this and you click on drill down and you will get, you will get more details. Okay, so here you can select the GL view. Okay, so if I select the GL view, it will give me the GL line item based. Okay, and here. If you see, if I click on actions, okay, um, you can change this, okay. So from here, you can display the select statement, okay. 
so if you want to see the technical details of this how this was fetched this is wonderful because from here you can you can learn a map from here also that's the greatest thing okay so here you can see what they have written the code how it is so this is wonderful and in in your case where you might have to uh, build a statement build a code similar to this you can use this and accordingly do this this is really 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 great things that that sap has provided and you can use this accordingly so if you see all these things this is really handy um, if you go on to the history piece you can probably find the history what is the database rules uh, let me see the quantities currency default if i execute this it will tell me what are the values that has come okay so this is like a cockpit i i, I don't know why they have created it like saying this and here if you see these are the different columns so it's much easier you can do the old way here you can change layout and pick the thing but here if you see if i want some other values okay and here you can do uh so if i scroll down let me see if i do this i don't know whether there would be things okay so if i select this now click the columns it will show up here on the left side so this is something that's really useful though it's not though you don't have anything here but this is but i love this actions piece okay um you can say duplicate all rows okay uh download all rows okay so if i select duplicate all rows new session started and it will create a new session it will not overlay on this so this is this is a wonderful piece that you can do okay uh, but that's display select downloading it into a presentation server uh, application server accordingly you can get if i click on you know more details so here you can see it opened up the rose display is one so if i go here so these are really great things that s4 hana has provided with this particular transaction code.